hello friends good morning good afternoon good evening so i have got a request from lot of students they want to understand the vtu first semester and the second semester core structure right and how they will be taught and what are the different options and elective options right for different streams right so i have said earlier that you know from this year yes, vtu has started a new system right where they have divided all the engineering branches into four streams right so one st first stream is called civil engineering stream and civil engineering stream has multiple branches right they cover civil environmental and then tr cc and multiple right which are like ceramics etc and the second stream is the computer science stream csc stream right so csc stream has csc computer science engineering isc information science engineering and all the computer specialization branches like csc aiml csc data sciences csc cyber security csc cloud and so on so csc stream has all of computer science isc and also includes biotechnology right so these are the csc stream third stream is electrical engineering stream right so electrical engineering science has triple e which is electrical and electronics ece and electronics and telecommunications machine learning and so on right and also your you know medical biomedical electronics right that is all electrical engineering science stream and the fourth stream is your mechanical engineering stream so all your aeronautical engineering aerospace engineering automobile engineering mechanical engineering industrial production your in all your industrial chemical and all those branches are part of the mechanical engineering streams right so four streams so i'll make different videos for different stream this video i will talk only about the computer science stream where maximum number of branches and maximum number of students are there and i will talk about the different options in terms of course and electives they have in the first semester for the second semester i will make another video because these are very deep you know understanding videos and you should understand it very clear so let's start for the computer science stream so out of the eight subjects out of the eight subjects you know computer science stream has you know multiple options like you know mathematics for csc stream 1 mathematics for csc stream 2 physics for csc stream chemistry for csc stream and principles of programming using c so these are just few of them and i will explain this in more detail so don't bother about this now these are the higher level mathematics physics chemistry and programming language using c and these are the common courses so common courses are not only applicable for is computer science engineering it is applicable for all the branches students so the options are computer aided engineering com communicative english professional writing skills sanskruti kannada balake kannada indian constitution innovative and design thinking and scientific foundation for health so all of this you will not study in the first semester it will be spread across first semester and second semester so let me show you the plan for the first semester itself in this video so now this is the plan for the first semester csc students right first semester computer csc means csc isc biotechnology and all the csc specialization students this is applicable this is for the csc stream so as i mentioned there you remember first was mathematics for csc stream 1 that means this is a mathematics which is for the semester 1 if it is mathematics for csc stream 2 that is for the second semester similarly physics for csc stream and principle of programming using c right so this three are you know these are the compulsory subjects right so this you see here the fourth one is engineering science course 1 right so this the code here is esc1 so basically engineering science course 1 is different for different students right so for different branches of uh, you know uh, csc streams right that will be like computer science may have different information science may have different and then uh, other branches right so i will explain this in more what are the options available under engineering science course 1 you have to select one out of those optional subjects next one is emerging technology course one 
or programming language course one so these are or right so it is both covered under point number fifth or the subject number fifth so you within emerging technology course again there are multiple electives options you can choose one of them similarly under programming language course also there are multiple options and i will explain all these three engineering science courses emerging technology courses or programming so you can take then sixth one is the communicative english which is compulsory for everybody so there is no choice next one is the samskruti kannada or balaka ke kannada which is uh, one of those you can do or indian constitution so this is a new subject which is introduced indian constitution so at that i will also explain right and then um, last one is innovative and design thinking or scientific foundation of health so one of those two you have to take and i will explain which one will be good for you know which type of students right so these are the eight subjects you have to do in semester one out of which fifth has two choices seventh is is having two choices one you have to select and eighth is having two three choices or two choices rest five out of eight are compulsory the compulsory are maths one physics principles of programming language communicative english and indian constitution now let's see how these eight subjects will be taught and how the marking system of our each of these eight subjects will be there so now this shows how these eight subjects will be taught so i'll start with the first subject was maths right so in the maths you see teaching hours per week right so how many much time you will be taught right for example within the maths you see four columns one column is called the theory lecture and l is written under that right so l is for lecture basically which is in the lecture form t is in the form of tutorial right and p is in the form of practical and s d a or s is nothing but the skill development right so if you see within the maths 2 hours every week will be given for theory 2 hours will be given for tutorial 2 hours will be given for a practical and 0 hours for s d a that is how maths will be taught and similarly all the eight subjects will be taught like physics will be also 2 2 2 0 csc right which i said programming using c so there there will be um, tutorial will be zero but it will be more theory and then practical there is no tutorial similarly respective engineering department you see that means your engineering science one course one which i will tell about what are the electives available under engineering science which was there and then there were option for english which will come under humanities there was option for communication there was option for kannada so all those come under the humanities department and any department so hope you understood how the teaching column teaching hours per week is meant to be understood and you saw this uh, this is for the physics group of students so you don't see any chemistry here you you don't see any chemistry subjects this is for the physics group so if you see the last three column right it shows three four column it shows the marks right so if you see in the marks of mathematics it says 50 under cie and 50 under see so you may not understand this so cie is a continuous learning uh, or you know evaluation so basically your unit test type of thing so in throughout your first semester there will be separate test and 50 marks will be taken out of that cie which is com- com- continuous learning thing right and see means semester end exam so final semester exam will be there after 4 months in say april so that will be 50 marks so there are two type of marks right you see 50 marks always given for cie and next 50 marks for semester end exam and that is how your total 100 marks are given so 100 marks for maths 100 marks for physics csc and uh, all your engineering course subject your any any department subject humanities subjects which are english which are kannada which are you know constitution and so on so each of these 100 put together you will have 800 marks in the first semester right 50% of which which is 400 as cie marks and 50% as an see mark 
and total credits which you are going to earn in the first semester is 20 credits right so you can see the last column it says maths has four credits physics has fourth credit computer science three credits and other are three three english humanities are those having one credit one one and total 20 credits to be earned in the first semester so i told you that that engineering science course one right which was one of the subject in uh, out of eight subjects so here there are multiple options so you can you have to choose one of those right so for the for the you know computer stream, stu uh, stream students i will suggest you take either introduction to c programming or you take that introduction to electronics engineering that will be more suitable right for the csc stream students right Where, which is engineering science course one and the corresponding you know credit you know ltp hours are given right then there was another bouquet of subject which called called programming language course one so in the first semester out of this four you have to select one of the programming la language so for those students who does not have a lot of a programming background in any of the pu or you know class 12th or 10th they should start with the you know introduction to web programming that will be better choice from them or basics of java programming that will be better for them those students who have some background medium term background on programming then they can go for the introduction to python programming and those students who have enough decent amount of programming back, background in the past they can go for introduction to c++ programming so based on your you know knowledge you can decide which one you want to select and there was also another bouquet of subject called emerging technology courses etc1 right so within that it is completely lecture based you see all the three hours there is no practical or there is no tutorial here all three three hours in a week that you have to spend only on the lecture part so here lot of options are there so again i will suggest you know these are very modern subjects all of them are quite good but since you know uh, if you are studying aiml see specialization in aiml then you you can take iot as your introduction iot introduction as a this subject if you are studying iot you can take aiml as a subject right if you are studying computer science cse then you can take cyber security as a subject if you are taking cyber security engineering right then you can take internet of things as your elective subject right and then uh, it is not like that you have to always select a subject from computer science department you can also select nanotechnology which is also a good option right and uh, then next best option is the sustainable sustainable engineering so actually sustainable engineering and the nanotechnology are two good options you can do it and you will come to learn more about the good things if you are from the building or materials interested then first two are better for you renewable energy sources and waste management those will be simpler topic but the depth will not be there from any engineering perspective so you, then you can take an emerging application of biosensors is more towards the biotechnology students who will get more interested in these subjects right so that is how you can decide which one within each of the bouquet you can take and decide to take so that's all a small update on the first semester options and learning and the syllabus i will make another video for the computer science students applicable for the second semester on the similar lines that's all i have to cover and thanks for watching and please do subscribe to the channel to get important updates on every aspect of you know your engineering thank you and take care